Safe Skies, Clean Water Wisconsin pulls people together to stop the F-35 jets from being based at Truax in Madison and to force cleanup of ground and water contamination originating from the base. The Midwest Environmental Justice Organization was the first to alert people about a proposed based expansion at Truex. They have been studying contaminants coming from the base and the impacts on the surrounding neighborhoods, most with low income and minority populations. Thanks to the Midwest Environmental Justice Organization, concerns became public about PFAS, a class of toxic synthetic compounds linked to serious health problems. They travel readily through water and can migrate miles from the source. Firefighting foam used at Truax for decades in exercises by the Air National Guard, county, and city is the primary source of PFAS contamination in Madison waterways and wells. Putting out an F-35 fire and training to put it out would require up to 10 times the amount firefighting foam due to the composite materials that make up the jet's construction. In late 2019, the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources released a study showing that high concentrations of PFAS were found in Starkweather Creek near the air base and in fish found in both the creek and in Lake Monona. Local government committees are finally beginning to recognize and address the problem. Truax plans significant expansion of the base to prepare for the F-35 jets. This construction would unearth PFAS and other contaminants that have been leaching into the ground for decades. The military has declined to fund cleanup of existing PFAS contamination. Another reason for alarm, in 2018, the Department of Defense released its Nuclear Posture Review prominently naming the F-35 as a core part of its strategic nuclear force. The B-6112 nuclear bomb is designed especially for the F-35 and considered usable by government and military officials. This means that Madison could be an enemy target by housing delivery vehicles for nuclear weapons. This mission of the F-35 could increase the risk of a global nuclear war. The F-35 itself was proposed in 2001 and has been in production since 2011. It has been plagued with multiple setbacks, cost overruns, and safety issues. It is still a work in progress. The Air Force admits that F-35 fighter jets can be up to four times louder than the current F-16s. In addition, the number of flights would initially increase by 47% over current levels. Long-term exposure to these projected noise levels poses a number of health risks, especially to children and vulnerable adults. The Air Force released a draft environmental impact statement in August 2019, comparing five sites under consideration to host the jets and asked for public comments. The environmental impact statement states that there would be a disproportional impact to minorities, low-income residents, and children, and could cause hundreds of households to be incompatible with residential use. More than 2,200 people would be exposed to significantly higher noise levels. Northside Madison neighborhoods would be disrupted, causing harm to those who stay and creating a housing crisis for those who wish to leave one of the few affordable neighborhoods left in the city. Lockheed Martin and other defense contractors profit from the F-35 program. Taxpayers are projected to contribute more than $1.5 trillion over its lifetime, with 2,000 or more F-35 jets planned to be housed across the country. More jets mean a greater impact on climate change. The U.S. Department of Defense is the largest institutional consumer of fossil fuels in the world and a key contributor to climate change. The largest portion of Pentagon fuel consumption is for military jets. 
Early in 2019, Safe Skies Clean Water Wisconsin began to research the issues, educate the community, and mobilize citizens to voice their concerns to elected officials and the media. Many public officials changed their position after becoming aware of the negative impacts to their constituents. Hundreds of people turned out to comment in opposition to the F-35 proposal at the Alliant Energy Center. Hundreds more attended community meetings and spoke to the impact the F-35s would have on their lives. People testified in support of a resolution opposing the F-35s at a city council meeting. Individuals, environmental, and community groups submitted a record number of comments to the Air Force in response to the environmental impact statement. Everyone in the city of Madison and the state of Wisconsin will bear the economic cost, disruption, and safety threats if the F-35s are based in Madison. But the impact on climate change and global instability will have a far-reaching effect. The Air Force is expected to issue their final environmental impact statement in late February. They will announce their decision whether to base the F-35s in Madison 30 days after that. Until then, it is critical that we continue to voice strong public opposition in order to influence their decision. We demand no TRUAX base expansion until existing PFAS and other contamination is cleaned up and we have guarantees that no more will be created. No increased noise levels, frequency of flights, or greenhouse gas emissions. No disruption or relocation of communities surrounding the base. No financial burden on residents of Madison or Dane County. No support or encouragement for any equipment or mission that might include the proliferation, transport, or use of nuclear weapons. No, no F-35s! F For more information, visit our website at safeskiescleanwaterwi.org.